Cassandra, welcome to Flamenco Cafe. In this portion of the show, you get to learn how to dance. In flamenco, the beginning of dancing Buleria de Jerez, we need to know how to mark time, marcaje. And we would be able to do that by marking in threes, marking in twelves, and marking in sixes. So the place to begin is to really flex your knees and mark out on the ball of your foot. So the ball of your foot, the planta, and back. Forward and back. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can walk, mark with my toes forward. I can also mark with my toes to the corner and center. Corner and center. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it's all fun and good until I have to do my arms too. Flamenco is a full body dance, so we often do arm circles. So arm goes down the side, up the center, and we twist our bodies. So now I have opposite foot, opposite arm. So let's try some. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And twist the body, twist the torso, opposite arm, opposite foot. This marks 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, corner, center, corner, center, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, arms, opposite arm, opposite foot, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, side, center, side, Center, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, stop. Another way to mark threes is to mark out on the golpe, which is a much higher pitch sound. Plantas are usually considered the bass, whereas the golpe is much higher pitched. And I'm going to give two tacon here. Golpe, tacón, tacón, golpe, tacón, tacón. So this represents a little bit of coordination. Get ready. Flat, heel, heel, flat, heel, heel. Flat, heel, heel, flat, heel, heel. Get ready, toes to the corners, and flat. Much noisier, I agree. Get ready, opposite arm, opposite foot. Twist the torso and arms down. Corner, center, corner, center, corner, arriba, and opposite 
arm, opposite foot with the torso. And arms down. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, stop. These are your marcaje in three. So now you're marking one, two, three, one, two, three. But three times four is 12. So obviously we can be using that for buleria. For our next pattern, we'll be marking in 12 compas. This is a generic marking for 12 compas for any palo, including solea, solea for buleria, alegria, and buleria. The setup, we need to make the back foot parallel to the mirror or the audience. We're going to have a slight out turn with the foot in front, which is the left. And we're going to distribute our body weight to the back. So now I have about 70% body weight here and maybe 30 in the front. Hips to the corner, chest to the corner, head looking straight. We're going to mark out with our ball of our foot, planta. 12, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we're going to make a planta. Twelve, pass in front. Three, step back. Six, eight. All right, so when I get to eight, look at how my feet are positioned. We want to have one heel in front of one toe and a one toe in front of one heel so that we can cross over on 10. When I get to 10, my hips and my torso are facing the corner of the room and my chin is straight. So that's where we actually change the line. Cross in front, step back, six, eight, and then finish, ten. Let's do a set with arms down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, torso to the corner, 6, turn the torso and arrive on the 10. Get ready, turn the torso to the corner. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can change aesthetic so that my front arm is up. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there are a lot of aesthetics for this basic step, but for the purpose of this program, we'll just do arms down and arms up. Now, arm down. Arm up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, last one. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for our final marcaje, we're actually going to be doing a buleria step. I call it buleria step because it is in six compas. I'm dancing six steps at a time. This step comes out of the 12 paso. 
So let's do one twelve parcel. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Your ticket into the Bulleria step is the 10, 11, 12. So we have to do a golpe. Golpe, martillo, planta. And that gets you into the Bulleria step. Let's do it again. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, golpe, golpe. Okay, so you can see it's a six pattern. It comes in and around. After you do the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, starts now. Eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One of the hard things in flamenco is to always know where your body weight is. So my body is trying to stay forward. When I turn this corner, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, my body it position's gonna stay stationary. My body remains forward even though my foot is sliding back. And I'm gonna fall into the, my front foot. Let's do a bunch. Your arms can be arms down. Your arms can also be arms up. Your arms can also be arm circle. to keep your torso and your spine centered and torso pivoting from corner to corner. But what we try very hard to do is allow the torso to stay front and center. I don't lose my body weight and allow my body weight to follow the foot behind. So really you're trying to just keep center spine And the feet are the ones that are sliding a little bit back. These are your basic pasos for buleria. Now that I've introduced three of them to you, there are many, many, many more, but I think with these three, you'll be able to seamlessly get in and out of the letras. Happy practicing.